Hey guys, we're back for more of this stuff. Yep. Yeah. So, we're gonna do it, because the second one just came out today, and figured, cool, we'll continue and stuff. So, play, and episode two. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big V, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. No, I'm not lying for someone when I don't know the reason. Sorry. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Yeah, I did. Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> You're gonna tell me right now. But Dad! I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels, and uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck, man! This fucking laugh for a minute. Come sniffing around this part of the world. Rich fucks in the woods need to shake down. That right, big B. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. And so it continues. making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could I'm use pissed. some rest. I'm feeling pretty fucking pissed off right now. If I'm honest, I'd like to smash everything in this room. Is that a threat? Depends on how much you like the furniture. I didn't think that was funny, in case you were waiting for me to laugh. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. Fuck off. Well, I'd appreciate if you'd fuck off. Big B, I've been interviewing people all night. And it's probably not the first time you've heard it today. Maybe you should take a hint. You're a detective, right? Well, you stonewalling me like this isn't helping either of us, so why don't you cut the shit and... Sup? I'm trying to help you, Bigby. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? Well, actually. No, didn't think so. Yeah. 
Your nose is bleeding. You look nuts. You look nuts right now. You realize that, right? It's kind of hard to take this seriously with that all over your face. It's weird. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something... Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. Please. going on you should be thanking me it's just a memory wipe spell very expensive but it works the whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands well hurry up So I'm gonna continue with my being an asshole for fun. Oh, 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 oh. Ignore him. We, um... We found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. And, Big D, we have to tread carefully here. We can't implicate an innocent man, and people are already worried about your conduct. There's two of them, D and Dunn, and they've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. I know what you're thinking, Big B. It's been one full night and a slice of morning. And I already miss her, too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. And now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Give me a fucking break. What? You treated her like the fucking maid, and now? <laughs> you want a shoulder to cry on? You didn't care then, and you don't care now. That is not true. Not true at all. I thought we had some common ground, could discuss this like gentlemen. Let's get something straight here, all right? We had exactly nothing in common. Everything that connects us is dead, gone. I don't know why I'm asking you, but did she give any indication as to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... I guess fine, I suppose. Yeah. She gave an indication she was pissed at you. By saying that she was pissed at you. At me? She was frustrated with the whole fucking system. Tired of having to turn fables away. It wore her down. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to 
had to put an end to this. It's been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on uh, using okay. that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? I'm glad you have a sense of humor. I hope that means you're willing to cooperate. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Back in the alley, you mentioned your employer. Who is it? Who are you working for? <laughs> Why? You looking to change your occupation? You'd be good at it, I think. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Just tell me who your employer is. I'd like to help you, but I can't. My brother and I, we got a thing about loyalty. We do our job and we keep our mouths shut. If we don't hold up our end, we don't get paid. Your brother? Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look. I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Are you done yet? I'm getting old over here. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? So where's your brother? Look, mate, I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. Just leave him out of this. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. What did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Yes, you got it. I'm saving that. Mm. 
This is really... What's the point of this? So, this is how it's gonna be. What are you doing? Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. <sighs> Let me handle this. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh yeah? Untie me and see how much trouble I am. So she stole something from you, and you tried to get revenge. Is that it? You think you're so fucking slick. She didn't take anything of mine. She didn't? She stole from my boss. You think I got anything worth stealing? Your boss? Ooh. Well, that brings me back to my first question. Who are you working for? Come on, Dean. It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No, I'm fucking done. He's just going too far with this. Sometimes you have to play the bad cop. You know that. Shit, do I want to let him go? Or do I want to... Fuck it. <clears throat> you just carry this around? It ain't illegal, is it? Smash him. What the fuck? Big B, you shit! Last chance, Steve. Who are you working for? Fuck you. You're a piece of shit, Big B. Beauty was right about you. You're just a sick... Beauty? You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone was trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone was trying to get back at you by killing her? It's your violent behavior and inability to control your nature that caused this mess. Oh, now he's good. Fuck okay. him. Fuck you. What's going on down here? Whoops. <laughs> 